Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nintendo, a Nintendo podcast by me, Lee. Uh, this can sound pretty dumb, but I just got done recording the episode to realize it just messed up and didn't take. And then, so we're back at it. Okay, you know, the grind don't stop. We're getting the video out. This podcast is going to be recorded. So, as usual, we'll start the episode with what I've been playing. And I've been playing The Switcher. And I've said this before, if you listen to the last video, The Witcher is a good experience on the Switch. Uh, but if you have the... We recommend other systems if you have it. PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Unless you want to take it on the go, the Switch is the best place. Uh, which is why I love it quite a bit on the Switch. I can take it anywhere. And it's just it's so much goodness on the go. Uh, but more about how I've been playing it. I am about five hours in. Uh, I just started looking for a series. So I'm not too far or anything. Uh, I've been focusing mainly on side quests. Because it's The Witcher. you got to do side quests. And... So I've been doing a lot of that, going through side quests and whatnot, and enjoying that. Because the side quests, they, they, they're, they're just as magical as the story. You do one thing, it leads to another thing. You're helping, you're finding monsters, you're helping people. It's great. It's, it's, it's such a good game. But I'm trying to, I gotta stop doing less side quests and actually just get to it and beat it. Because next month, November 15th, Pokemon Sword and Shield comes out. And that's going to be the main game. That's the main game of the year for me. Uh, it's going to be huge. Can't wait. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be exciting. Can't wait for it. But, uh, yeah, so I've been playing The Witcher. Uh, I've been dipping in and out of Rocket League and Tetris 99. And Tetris 99, I'm getting myself ready for the Luigi's Mansion event. I'm trying to get my uh, Halloween spirit going for Tetris 99 get all that stuff uh, try and get good at it because I'm still terrible at Rocket League and Tetris but you know practice get good you know what I mean but into the news uh, we'll start with this little bit of news this is not really big Nintendo news but more a little interesting story Reggie the Reginator gave a speech at Cornell and I got this from Nintendo Everything, and the, they said the video's coming of him, you know, giving the speech and everything, so that's not quite out, but they did have little, like, little notes about what he was saying and everything, and so I just, I jotted a couple of them down, and here is the ones that kind of just interest me the most. Uh, he talked about the Wii U being a forward failure because it was a failure but led to the switch and the switch is very successful and of course no matter where Reggie goes even if he's no longer the president of Nintendo people's gonna ask him about Mother 3 <laughs> and all Reggie could say was I guess I can never escape it and you can't Reggie it'll be with you forever <laughs> uh, but that's one of the things I wrote down because those interested me the most. But like I said, go over to NintendoEverything.com. Check out the full little breakdown they have of it. Maybe the video will be out soon. Uh, also, Doom 64. Of course, we knew it was coming to Switch, but now it's coming March 20th, 2020. And if you pre-order Derm Eternal, you get it for free. I know Derm Doom... My goodness, Doom Eternal got pushed further uh, it comes out March 20th 2020 on the rest of the consoles but for the switch it got pushed to a later date my theory is it's still coming out I mean it got pushed because of Animal Crossing Animal Crossing gonna be too huge on the switch and Doom's gonna come out later that's my theory I'm sticking with it but I mean if you can get Doom Eternal and get Doom 64 for free why not good deal and uh, another game that got what well, is more of a rumor leak if you say Duke Nukem 64 was rated for the switch it's pretty cool i'm really enjoying okay no see i'm really enjoying these older games coming out especially 64 because i'm really would like to see nintendo make a 64 mini classic you know 
I think that'd be really dope to get some friends together, play Mario 64, play Smash Brothers, the original. And because I never played Mario 64. I know what you mean. I know. It's a, it's a shame. But uh, I have played uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Played those on the 3DS, but Mario 64, I have never given a chance. And I would love to, Nintendo. If you could put it on the Switch or give us a 64 Classic, that's all we ask for. But, uh, you know, and that's the end of the video. That's all the news we got. A little short news week, but that's all right. Uh, so leave a comment down below of what game you like to see on the 64 hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe until next time peace